Welcome back, everyone, for more Subnautica with the FCS mods. Uh, last episode, I asked for suggestions on some ideas for a new small base. Not big base, small base, because I am having some issues with the frame rate dropping already because of what I've built. And I did not want to build another large base because of the frame rate loss. So we've got a few suggestions in already. And right off the bat, anything that is talking about a big build out the window. Because again, I'm already down to like 40 FPS at most of the time I'm playing. I don't want to push it down as low as I have in the past because I have gotten it where it was consistently like 5 to 6 FPS. It's not a good time. I'm taking another pair of suggestions kind of mixing them together a bit and that's what we're gonna do today i've got a base i'm gonna build i can build it small and it will fit with the theme of keeping it small for a reason and hopefully won't cause any massive frame loss on this because yeah my fps is still pretty low and before i get too far into here i realized there's a few upgrades i have not yet made for my vehicles and I am just sitting here and I'm already getting attacked. I'm not even piloting and I'm being attacked. You know, just, just being quiet, perfectly fine. And he doesn't like it. Seriously, I'm not even doing anything uh, to draw attention. I am just sitting here. And I should be able to see just from the look of the place what area I am in. Oh, that was, that's new. I didn't expect to have that happen, and I'm going to have to dive just to fix this. So, obviously, I am in the crash zone. I'm, uh, you know, there's wreckage all around. I really should have the sonar going. Uh, one of the suggestions was to have it where, you know, you have the Reaper Leviathan swimming past. And, you know, I could go get some other scary type ones. Uh, but I think the Reaper could be fun to have as just like a, uh, yeah, I've got a little base out here. They come around, you know, just swim by. You got a nice little view. And if I could get it positioned just right, I might be able to actually build two sides to it. Build one for the Reaper and then extend the other end horizontally out into the void. Not downwards not too far hopefully to keep the frame uh frame rate issues down but maybe be able to get where we have both leviathans viewable from within the base so where i'm at is by one of the little plateaus this is not one of the oases but it is a little plateau on the far side of the aurora this is a little bit further away than some of the other bases so it means I'm not too close to them. Like, I mean, two kilometers away from the big base. I've got a Mr. Reaper right there looking at uh, me or looking at stuff in the area. And you turn and I'm right here at the edge. So I don't have to build very far out. And this could be kind of the main location because we're going to have him swimming around. There is a spot far a little over there that has another Reaper. But because of where it sits relative to the edge, it, it would be a very long tunnel to get things set up right. So with this, all I have to do is sit here and then, you know, make a bunch of noise to kind of get him to come over here. This actually got me, like, concerned. I'm listening for him to roar and come at me trying to bite me. You know, uh, <laughs> I really don't want to be eaten by a reaper right now. Because this is reaper country, uh, we're gonna be a little cautious, you know, and we're gonna have just a moon pool in order to allow for a sea truck to or sea moth. There we go, thinking it's a uh, uh, below zero again. Why did I, did I, I used all my uh, titanium up? I guess. Fortunately, tons of titanium and some other stuff, you know. All right, moon pool. And uh, I don't have any power. And you know what? The, this is observing Leviathans. Probably not a good idea to go with a power pylon here. And, uh, you know, I'm actually, I'm going to do, I may actually do a ga glass compartment going out because I should have plenty of quartz right now. 
And I'll just throw like a, uh, I'll throw a bulkhead in, you know, over here as a uh, guard against flooding should a ghost leviathan start bashing into the glass compartments. So for the Aurora side, I'm going to throw two observatories on here uh, coming off of a curve. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the rooms yet, but we're going to do that. And then I'm going to use, of course, some lights. I'm actually thinking I just want to do two lights total on it. One on each of these. Instead of trying to do the spotlight to track them, just do the floodlights that will just, you know, stay lit up the whole time. Aiming out that way. Oh, no, you don't. No, no, no. Get off of me. Oh, man. Oh, I forgot that, that weird little buggy thing where it won't. I can't select the the defense thing, the perimeter defense, it doesn't select it. I have to scroll. I was, I was like, I hang six and it's doing nothing. And then I remembered, oh yeah, that's right. It doesn't want to work. Let's toss out some power options. You know what? I'm just going to do the jet stream. Uh, Cause I, I like the idea of that. It, it's, you know, nice and sustainable, eco-friendly kind of thing. And it doesn't matter that I'm 300 meters down. I don't have to worry about it being a case of I don't have enough, you know, solar power. I brought eight, but with the way this lined up, I, I think I'm just, you know, actually, yeah, I think I can get that in there. It's not going to look quite as, like, nice with it. Plus, oh, yeah, see, that's, that's, it's crossing over into that other one. I thought I had it. Just even. Uh, I see you're gonna encroach on the base. Like, go inside. Yeah, it's like inside. That's very close. That might actually all. I mean, it's gonna hit something. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's. it's don't. Don't hit it. No, don't hit it. I, I, I'm seriously. Like, oh. Oh. Okay. I think we're fine. I think we're good. No collision there. For inside, I actually have a very specific thing in mind because there's Reapers, there's Ghost Leviathans. We're kind of observing the, the bad boys and they might get angry. They might try to attack the base. They might try to take a little swipe at it. So why not prepare? with some emergency power and i actually got two of them because i forgot how big they are oh man i i got it rotated the wrong way i'm not exactly going the straightest direction out to the void i did not place things down quite as perfectly as i needed to oh and i'm running out of whole strength all right, I'm just going to alternate this up a bit. Okay, I was about to say, this has got to be the the void. Because, I mean, the way the colors change, this has got to be the void. Is that, where, where are they? I know they're about to come after me. Uh, and, of course, I, oh, there he is. Uh, so, I am... Yeah, right there. So just that right turn that I had to make. And uh, I got the base to work. We're just going over there. Now we just got to get the Reapers to come in close enough. And we'll have a nice little dual Leviathan view. Maybe we can get them to fight. One last little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you don't. No, you don't. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, not nice. That reminds me, I might want a med bay here just in case somebody gets hurt. So right now I just have the two multi-purpose rooms. This is going to be like the entry area as you come in and kind of the main production area. So I'm thinking for this, I want to do kind of like maybe a lounge, food type area, you know, general purpose living area. And that means I really need to have another room for living quarters. So I guess I'm stacking another multi-purpose room on top. 
before I worry about doing all the living decorations, let's get this fixed. So I have the auto crafter. I have this producing the uh, creek vine seed cluster. So we're going to go to here. We're going to hit that. Can't wait. Oh, wait, that's right. Uh, that. There we go. Yeah. Got to have at least a transceiver in there. And now I can work with this. So that. Oh, we can choose more items now. I know I haven't even tried the bio reactors in a while. And pygmy fan. <laughs> I don't have any pygmy fan, but okay. Wow. Yeah, you can pull pretty much anything over. Even stuff from like the decorations mod can be pulled over. So we're going to just take that and I'm just going to fill it up. I want it to be all nine. Confirm. And uh, let's just see. I should have, I got two there. It, the dot is not dumping in. Let's just try it with two. Confirm. Still not doing it. Not pulling. All right. Well, fine. I'll do it this way. All right, I've got one in there. Not the way it's supposed to be working, but I at least got it in there. And I hear him extremely close. Uh, so you can actually see a little bit from the lights. Uh, a little bit over there. Yeah, a little bit, not much. I hear him, he's out there. Just uh, too dark. And hard to see. I know I have already set this all up. And got it done here. But because I've extended that out that far, I feel like I just want to go ahead and extend this out a bit further. Oh, there. I saw it. There he goes. There he is. He, he's thinking about it. He's like, hey. Hey, you want to look at me? And, uh. What, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, he is after me. He is after me. Yeah. Can't get me in here. One more observatory. And I'll just see how this looks. And then I'll come back and I'll, I'll switch it out to a T shape. If I feel like I need the extra glass. Oh. Oh, no. And I didn't even notice I'm weak. Weak build. And now he's after me. Oh, no. Ow! You kicking me around? How dare you? Oh, there he is. I was wondering where it was, and then he's just bam, right there. Look at that. Nice, nice glowy ghost Leviathan. The big boy. Right there. Got a good view. So, so worm like, actually. Let's see if I can make this happen without having to get out there. Quick observatory out of here before they get me. Now, why is this still not working? If it's more than one, I've done that. You know, it's it says creep vine, but not creep vine C clusters. That has been bothering me that it said just creep vine even though it's got the look it's bothering me like it might not be it i like a i can even do stalker teeth it's a, a, an interesting thing to have as an option you know there it is let's try that creep vine c cluster so maybe it's like i could do uh, I, I don't know what do i do like i put creep vine in with the c cluster and it harvests the whole plant I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. And there it goes. Did it did it? It did it if there's more than one. Yes, it put some in there. Okay. Not sure why it just is creep vine. Might be the way it's pulling from the item availability. But yeah, make sure you get the creep vine seed cluster. Uh, I, I don't know of any way we're gonna be able to use that creep vine, but you know, sure. So real quick before. I uh, wrap it up here with this one. We got to get some decorative stuff going. And I will treat it like there's more than one person here. 
I want to see if I can actually get this to work. Um, I've done a different direction with this in below zero. I have not done that in Subnautica. Now it's only like, no, we're not placing there. Like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna have to full override and um, see if this will work. It's not pretty, but I've basically created a bunk bed type setup. And actually that leans out way more than I would like, but it might be necessary. I guess get this lineup right. Ah. I think it is off just slightly, but you know what? I am going to take it. That is good enough. So we got a bunk bed facing the other way. Obviously, you don't want to be on the bottom bunk. It's a little bit tight, but yeah, we got a bunk bed. So I was, we've got room for a couple of people here. Right. So dinner table set up. Uh, actually, I'm going to adjust that. Let's try this one. Oh, yeah. We're going to go with the, well, the purple works with that. Uh, I've got, instead of just having water bottles, I thought it'd be like, we just have this. Because it does have like a drink cup kind of thing, you know, water fountains. We got that. Got a stove, even though I don't have fish here. Technically, if they want to brave the surrounding waters, they can go get fish and cure them as well. We got the curing thing. Got that. We got TV. Nice little private, you know, relaxing time uh to watch some tube and uh, no can't do any of those i've got to figure out what plant i want to use there if you got a suggestion comment below and of course we got our bunk beds and that gives us our basic living quarters for this come through right here of course the uh extra <laughs> little security in case of a breach because you know they are all around some uh well, in this case, Reaper Leviathan is right here. And of course he took off and he saw I'm, you know, hopping out into the observatory. He's like, he knows what's up. He got out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and just match the color scheme up with everything else. So the Altera Gen is now almost full. You see I have battery fully charged. So it does have an internal battery storage like the regular bioreactor, but it will also add more fuel to it when the battery's full so that's going to get one more item there be full and then that's going to fill up to 50 and at that point i can always you know just dump more into here for storage uh i did kick it up a bit to try and get the production going a little faster and i don't actually need that now but i'm leaving it here in case they do need to produce some stuff of course main thing there in case they get hurt and then of course arguably the coolest part of it i would say is this the uh, triple observatory and the void to watch for the ghost leviathans where are you come on where, where'd you go no, wait wait that's that's pointing somewhere over there all right come on just again when if i was out here building they'd already be swarming me there he is the big guy so we've got a nice little spot. If you just will come out here, sit down. Oh, maybe I'll put like some chairs in here. Maybe I'm not done. Maybe I can go and do some more like this out here. So you come here, you got the little swivel chair. You can relax, watch the ghost Leviathan swim around, make your notes you know, on your PDA, whatever. I, I might do a little bit more with this in the meantime, but there, new base. And unless something significantly improves my FPS, probably the last base, because I am hovering around 30 FPS right now, dipping a little bit below. So uh, again, not doing any big bases. This is about as big as I want to get. And that's only because of the number of compartments and the distance. It also kind of gives a parallax effect almost with the, uh, the distance there, a little different than with these high compartments, the glass ones. That, that gives kind of, it looks like a parallax effect almost. Uh, that's why I'm getting out of it. But anyway, that's it for this episode. So if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the base. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.